Hello everyone, today we'll talk about Josiah. When Josiah was a child, his mother told him the word of God, so he grew in God's love. And Josiah's father was the king of Israel. When Josiah was eight years old, his father died. And after his father died, he became the king of Israel. So Josiah became the king when he was eight years old. Josiah was a child, followed God's word as his mother told him. And as he was very young to deal with the different matter of the kingdom, he followed Hilkiah the priest's instruction. When Josiah grew up, he saw the people of Israel worshipped idols instead of God. What's idols? Idols is a statue people used to make it and said that is God. And they worshipped and prayed to it and asked stuff from it and forgot about God and disobeyed God's word and also stopped reading God's word and did not teach God's word to their children. But Josiah was no God's word and know the right and the wrong thing. He quickly began to fix the wrong thing that people were doing. What Josiah did to fix the wrong thing? First of all, he ordered his soldier to destroy the idols, so the people can only worship God. Second thing, he started to repair the destroyed part of the temple. Temple is a place people pray in it to God like our church now. And while the people were repairing the destroyed part of the temple, Hilkiah the priest found the book of the law. It was lost for years. The book of the law is like our Bible now. Then Hilkiah sent the book of the law to Josiah the king. When Josiah got the book, he gathered all the people to the temple and read the book in front of them and told them we have to follow God's word that we heard in the book of law. And the people listened to him and obeyed God's commandment and stopped worshipping the idols. So Josiah follows a verse that say, I do not forgot your precept. Psalm 119, 141. Precepts mean ruled or education. So Josiah learned us to follow God's word and if anything wrong happened in front of us, we need to stop it. So the verse one more time. I do not forgot your precepts. Psalm 119, 141.